Howdy folks, today I'm in Manhattan. I've come into Sushi by M. This was recommended by my friend, a model and foodie, Johanna. I'll pop a link above or below somewhere you can check out her page. It's a one hour omakase with only two options, basically on the price and then a few add-ons. So it should be really fun. Tonight's my 40th birthday. Let's check it out. As you can see from the kind of food they're preparing, this is not a strictly traditional Japanese sushi bar. It's a very New York infused, modern, hip kind of a place. FYI, the omakase is strictly limited to one hour. The $50 set has 12 pieces of sushi and the $95 set has 16 pieces of more premium sushi. So I don't think I've ever had as many text messages going back and forward to confirm the reservation as this one. You need to put down a car. They only save you a table for uh, 10 minutes or something. So we're right on time for 7 p.m. Hopefully I find them. I guess this is the downside of a fixed time omakase that's cheap by New York standards. You gotta wait in the cold for your seat to become open because the last table is still eating. Now my best piece of advice for enjoying Sushi by M is to go in without expectations, just planning to have a good time and not expecting something traditional. The chefs are all Chinese, from what I could tell from the language they were speaking. The quality of the fish is good. The service and style is all very modern and not traditional, but this is a one hour omakase. So don't let the word omakase fool you into thinking it's going to be really traditional. You do not get uni covered in black truffles at a traditional sushi bar. I have to say for the most part, the different foods really hit the mark and it was really delicious. As soon as I shook off the feeling that this is so not traditional, I really started to enjoy it. Now we had the $95 set. Let me run you through the different pieces you have there. This is in the order they're served, not necessarily the order you're seeing them. First of all, Yellowtail, then Amberjack, then Red Snapper, Golden Eye Snapper, Striped Jack, Marinated Tuna, baby white shrimp with the caviar on top, spotted prawn, salmon roe, and then an uni rice with squid, the uni with the truffle, toro and caviar, arctic char, salmon, wagyu beef and sea urchin, and finally unagi. And you can see them grilling up the wagyu beef there. It really was quite delicious. Now this one was a worry for me. Good crab does not need melted butter on it. It made me worry about the quality of the ingredients, but I have to eat my words. It was delicious. Again, it was just not at all traditional of what I was expecting. I'll admit it, I am a fuddy-duddy, and this is one area of my life where maybe I'm generally a purist. So it took me half an hour to shake that feeling of this isn't how it's meant to be, to really settle in and enjoy that the chefs were they weren't traditionally trained from what I could see, but they were great hosts. It was a really fun atmosphere. The combination of flavors they were putting together was delicious. And again, the way it all flowed was just super impressive. And they didn't really have a drinks menu, but they had free and unlimited sake. They call it fire water, and it just kept on coming as you emptied your glass. This was definitely a highlight, the fatty tuna with the fish eggs on top. Next up, a little spoon of, this is the Wagyu beef with sea urchin. I believe this sea urchin was from Maine and it was huge. They were giving you kind of half a piece on each. And lucky me, my wife surprised me and had told them it was my birthday, so they actually turned off all the lights, found time for this little 30 second presentation, and gave me a cake made of raw fish, which is just the kind of thing a guy like me wants for his birthday. No, I'm not kidding. 
top of their standard menu, there were actually a few additional things you could order. Like they had funny names like the Three Amigos, Viagra Shooter, Big Mac, Chicken Nugget. Uh, but they were all actually bite-sized pieces. So even things like the Big Mac, which was just layers and layers and layers of decadence, $18, it was essentially a single bite. Now I did order the Big Mac and I also got a Hokkaido Uni hand roll. Hokkaido Uni is considered the highest quality. Again, quite expensive, but you only turn 40 once. So overall, the damage is $95 for the top course or 50 for the lower course, plus plus of course, but then there was no drinks on top of that. And if you didn't get the optional add-ons like I had, you would get out of it for in New York, a reasonable price for a meal of that quality. As I said, go in with expectations of having something modern, avant-garde and fun. Understand you're going to be in a bit of a rush because it's a strict one hour New York style thing and I'm sure you're going to enjoy Sushi by M. Big thanks to Johanna for the tip, and to all of you at home, please do like and subscribe for your seat at the table as I continue my search for the world's best seafood.